Timia caravan is about to start, but before departure, a great farewell party will be celebrated. This is not usually done, either at departure or at arrival. The caravan has been a usual thing, a constant element in the desert scenery, and everyday activities are not celebrated. But this time is different. This time, people are conscious of the fact that they are not celebrating just one more caravan, but a re-encounter. Many years of war have passed. What they are in fact celebrating is that there is no war. The celebration starts with a camel's race for the young people. From the time they are five years old, children take care of the animals, and when they are seven, they begin to learn how to ride camels. They will very soon ride at high speed. In such places as Demia, the influence of tradition is still very strong. These parties called fantasy are usually held at weddings. When young people get married, it is quite rare that family ties are not reinforced with the birth of a boy. A boy's birth is much more happily celebrated than a girl's. In due time, the boy will increase the military power of the tribe. In that case, men and women will come to congratulate the mother. But if a girl is born, just the women will. On the seventh day after the birth, and not before, the father will be allowed to see his son. It is then when a name is given to the child. On that same day, and the marabout hangs an amulet from his neck. Boys are circumcised when they are three or four. No excision is performed on girls. When girls are six or seven, they start learning how to make mats and clay objects, and how to spin goat's hair. When they reach puberty, they are given their first woman's veil. When they are 16, young people of both sexes can enter adult society, and that is the moment when they are allowed to participate in the ajal. Ajal means conversation, social intercourse, although it really consists of nighttime musical parties, where single men or widowers and single women can participate. At these reunions, you can breathe the Asri atmosphere. Asri means to run at a runaway bridle. Under the protection of the night and with the complicity of the music, young people stick to one another, exchange some daring caresses and erotic games that end in final intimate encounters quite far from the camp. Until the time of marriage, the sexual freedom of Tuareg women is absolute. The word virginity does not exist in Tamashek. The verb to deflower is translated as to make a hole, the same words they use to drill wells for water. It is not an obligation for the girl to be a virgin to marry.
One of the facts that has most influenced the slow destruction of Tuareg culture is the process of Islamization, which little by little, such as the influence of the Toyota and the radio, has taken possession of every corner of the desert. In spite of that, the Tuareg are firm believers, and the women still keep some ancient rights that tradition grants them. They own their own goods even when married, and it is very unusual for them to marry before being 20. When they get married, the couple lives for one year at the wife's family's camp. Hebrews also practice this habit that already appeared in the Old Testament. Its objective is to guarantee good relationships. After this first year, another feast is celebrated in which the men and women from the husband's camp come close to pretending that they will kidnap the girl. Men scream some of the words of warriors, and the women reply shouting in panic. <laughs> They surround the young wife's tent and claim her as if from now on she would only belong to their family. In spite of that, or maybe because of it, it is the women who appear to be more reticent to enter the unsafe abyss of the modern world. They are the guardians of tradition. They wait for the man when he leaves with the caravan or when he emigrates abroad. Women carefully consider the pros and cons of abandoning the village to go to the city. They are the womb and the back of the desert. We go at last. My father has talked to me for a long time about this moment. I know that the trip will be difficult, but I don't care. I want to be a doctor, but I'd also like to go with a caravan every year. I do not know whether this is possible. Anyway, the only thing I want now is to remain here and enjoy the trip. The elders say that we must learn how to do this job and further teach it to our sons, and our sons to theirs. When I grow up, I will have four children. Two of them will go to the caravan and the other two will stay in the city. I'm the only son and cannot break myself in two. The moment has also come for Hassan's caravan. It will take several days to go down the air mountains and little by little, the line of camels will fade into the sand of Tenede. The journey out from Timia to the salt mines could last about two weeks. Another seven days will be spent to select and load the salt blocks, and three more weeks to carry them to Agadez, where they will sell them to the highest bidder. With the money obtained, they will buy millet and some other caprice. Hassan's father wants to buy a TV, but in Timia they do not have electricity, so he will also need to buy a generator. He still does not know whether the trip will yield profits enough for all that.